When people start lifting, something unexpected happens. They get stronger before their muscles get bigger. And this is true for both men and women. Watch my long form video that covers the related resistance training guidelines and expected outcomes. One of the most unexpected outcomes is that during the first four weeks of resistance training, your central nervous system adapts before your muscles no matter how you train. It learns to recruit more motor units, the motor neurons and all the muscle fibers they stimulate, activate them more frequently and in sync. All of this helps your muscles generate more force without changing their structure or size. That's why you can add 20, 30 or even 50 pounds to a lift without visible signs of muscle growth. Around week five, things start to change in the muscles, but differently in men compared to women. Mechanical tension from the repeated muscle contraction under tension and resistance triggers protein synthesis of more contractile proteins inside the muscle fibers, which not only adds to the strength of the muscle, but the size as well. Men generally show larger acute increases in muscle protein synthesis after training because of greater testosterone and a higher proportion of type 2 fibers, which are more growth responsive. But here's the nuance most people miss. Women increase muscle protein synthesis and strength gains just as effective as men relative to their baseline or from where they started. This happens even though the amount of muscle mass they add is smaller. Why? Women's lower testosterone limits total muscle size but not strength gains. Women rely more on those neural changes that increase muscle strength and they also have more type 1 fibers that don't blow up like type 2 fibers in men. So everyone gets stronger in two phases, first the wiring, then the hardware. But over time, men develop more hardware while women master the wiring. Either way, those strength gains come the same way. Progressive overload, consistency, and effort. Go to my YouTube channel for more hype-free fitness facts that you can trust. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.